Ladies and gentlemen, it has just been delivered, a special delivery. Today I bring you Maher by Latafa. Maher comes in its own deluxe box. This is a soft feel. Matte box with gold lettering. The horse just peeks out at you from the little window there. QR code on the side as well as the website. Ingredients on the back inscribed in gold as well as the holographic authentication. The outside cover slides up to reveal beautiful, absolutely beautiful bottle. To remove the bottle, pull the satin strings. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. This is a heavy crystal bottle, high quality metal cap in the shape of a stallion. This perfume is imported from the United Arab Emirates. The sprayer gives you a fine mist of this beautiful, oh, beautiful scent. Okay, so I want to talk to you about what Maher actually smells like. I showed you the beautiful presentation of the bottle, the box, gorgeous. Um, the notes on Fragrantica are very inaccurate. Um, they talk about peaches and Um, Lily of the Lily and some other things. No, I don't want you to um, be mistaken. Um, they also talked about red berries and things like that. Um, and that's what threw me off when I first got this fragrance. Um, and I smelled it, I was confused. So um, I'm looking at the authentic scent uh, card from Latafa Company. That was an insert in one of their um, boxes that I got. And it lists the notes as saffron, rose, akigala wood, leather, dry amber, oud, and vanilla, and musk. So that is exactly what um, is in the fragrance called Maher. That's exactly it. Um, Fragrantica is very inaccurate. You will not smell any berries or peaches or lily. No. Okay. There's no, this is not a fruity fragrance at all. Not at all. This fragrance is very serious, very regal. Um, it smells very expensive. Um, I'm wearing it right now and I'm doing like a, a wear test on it. What I can tell you, and I, I'm, I like to be honest with people, so whatever you purchase from me or whatever you purchase based on my video, you won't be thinking that I, I, didn't, I wasn't honest with you. So I'm going crazy over this fragrance because of the dry down. When this fragrance dries and settles on your skin, it smells so beautiful. Um, you get vanilla in the dry down, a little bit of leather, rose, and saffron in the dry down. And I'm smelling my wrist right now. You also get this smoky um, oud accord. So the issue with this fragrance that I had was when I first sprayed it, the oud smell was overwhelming. Um, 
and I was taken aback because I was looking for um, the fruity notes that were described on Fragrantica. So what I can tell you is you must wait. So this is an exercise in patience and it will pay off. You must wait at least 10 to 15 minutes for the fragrance to settle into your skin and then you get that beautiful dry down. And I am really not willing to part with this fragrance. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm waffling back and forth. It is on my website, but I might take it down because I really do like the dry down of this. It's similar to it's similar to the other one that I talked about, which is Oud Mood. It's similar to that. And as you can see, the notes are also similar with the rose and saffron and the oud. Um, however, Oud Mood is so sweet. It's so sweet. Like the grown-up version. It's not sweet. It's just um oud, vanilla, saffron, and rose. And it's really well blended, very nice. Develops very nice over time. And it's it's a good one. It's just the um, initial spray is is um may not be what you're expecting based on the notes that you may have read on the internet. So I would rec highly recommend this fragrance as well as any uh, Latafa fragrance. Um, mm, it just smells so good. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you run across this um, while shopping or on my website, um, I recommend you buy it. Even just for the bottle alone, it's so beautiful. All right, have a great day. Bye.